Happy Monday, everybody. Welcome back on this November 12th. How's everybody doing this great morning? Hopefully everybody's got back from uh, the vac their nice long vacation. Actually, today is a, uh, a long weekend. Good to see you, Phil, George, Marino. Good to see you all. Good to see you, Hilmer, John, everyone. Grant, good to see you, Ken. Good morning. All right, guys. First of all, before we get started, um, I just want to take a, a moment to thank all the veterans i know we have a lot of veterans that are here that are in the room uh i'd like to thank you for your service i know uh, it was yesterday but today they're uh you know kids were off from school so we'll talk a little bit about that but thank you guys and let's give them all a round of applause um for their great service thank you so much always got to welcome you always got to thank the veterans for everything they've done for for this country Remember, guys, if it wasn't for them, we probably wouldn't be here. Okay, always, uh, always remember that. In the meantime, uh, let's get right into see what's going on regarding about what's going on with the market. Uh, first of all, it is Monday, so we know what to expect on Monday. And today is a typical Monday that is more unique than most Mondays. Uh, because of Veterans Day, kids are off from school. It's always recognized, a national holiday. So, um, I mean, obviously, you know, it's not like... Uh, uh, a major holiday like a Christmas or a Thanksgiving, but it is uh, like a typical holiday. And, uh, you know, and with that, kids are off from school. Kids are off from school, long weekend. So it, it might be on a little bit of slow side. We do got a couple of good things that are moving pretty well, and we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, Wayne says, uh, both my grandpa's wife, uh, dad, two brothers, three sons, and our vets. Well, thank you. That's great to hear, Wayne. Thanks for that. All right, um, but uh, there are a couple of things uh, that we are going to be trading, and there's a, a couple of ones that we saw this morning, especially the short on the AMRN. Looks like it's making a little bit of bounce, but before we do that, let's get first to what happened on Friday. So anyway, uh, talking about this Yelp trade, Yelp took a huge hit yesterday, and I mean on Friday, you could see it went all the way from 46 down to 30, came out of the gate. I told you early, early on, be very careful with Yelp because Yelp is a little bit of a brand name stock, does move pretty quickly. And you can see Yelp had a nice pop, went from 29.50 up to 32 within, I don't know, typical 30 minutes, right? And, uh, but I don't think, I, I, a lot of us didn't really capture that one that much because it went up so fast and it didn't have that good pre-market that we were looking for. But let me tell you, I know some of you, you know, it's kind of difficult to trade in the morning, maybe West Coast people, but let's talk about going on to the afternoon. But the afternoon, you could see it went from 31.29 straight up to 33. Don't tell me you couldn't pull 50 cents out of that bad boy. I mean, remember, great traders, we never buy at the bottom and we never sell at the top. You always buy in between. So that was a great, great trade right there. Now, what do we do with it today? Obviously, you know, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. So, but that is what happened in the past, which is not indicative of the future. There are always new stocks to hunt for. Another good winner, uh, also that had a nice little rally, but took a great, uh, took a big hit. And I'm actually, I still, I still want to throw my watch list, Juniper. So, Juniper definitely took a huge hit right in the middle of the day. And uh, I want to keep an eye on it today, see what it's doing. Yeah, obviously, it doesn't show anything going on. But from what it did on Friday, on Friday, you know, had a little bit of a nice little trend. You know, let's keep an eye on it. I know some of you guys did pretty well on that Juniper trade. What else did we trade yesterday on Friday? Uh, GE, my God, it's just no mercy. I mean, this poor stock. Listen, I told you guys this a long time ago. When you break all-time lows, you know, where's, where's the next support level? The basement. You know, and uh, actually, I'm sorry, when you break through the basement, where is it? <laughs> there is no floor. So zero. Not that I don't think it's at that. that let's say I, I can't even say that anymore. I saw Citibank go to go to a dollar. I saw General Motors go bankrupt. I don't know. Anyway, it's not looking too good for GE. So it's been a fun day trade. Got to be careful on that swing trade. So that one also was on our watch list. And one last one, the G, the, uh, the P. CG trade, that one right there. That one also is still continuing to uh, continue from what happened on Friday. Great short, $48 stock down to 40, 80 bucks. Don't tell me you couldn't pull out another 50 cents on that bad boy. That was a pretty easy one. Well, guess what? It's still kicking in again this morning. So PCG is also going down there. Now, just keep an eye on it because it looks like you got to go back a little bit further on history. And we're probably going to be testing some support levels. Look, we're already at 34. Wow, that's not good. 
All right, so 34. All right, so we're right around here. So we're going to probably come to the support levels right here. I would keep an eye on the iceberg order. You can see there's already a 20,000 share buyer sitting right now at 34.05. There's a nice little iceberg order to kind of help us out with that. So that obviously is making the nice watch list right there. All right, so let me put this back to normal and bring back my chart. Okay, now let's go through a couple of the stocks that are on my watch list. Um, APTI is one that's gapped up pretty big right here. It looks like a buyout. So anyway, with that being a buyout, I brought that up just to show you. I don't know it's a buyout. I just know as a trader, when you see something gapped up that big and it's flatlined, it's usually a buyout. So uh, everyone to kind of look at and think about, oh, it, 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 is this going up? Yeah, I, you know, like, like you said, right, Ben, it is. But what happens, you know, we don't have to go and find out what the news is and why they got bought out or whatever it is. You could just see it right then and there. So it's off our list. BBOX, um, that stock uh, took a huge hit. So um, Black Box Corp. It's, it's, it's gapped up a little bit this morning. We'll keep a close eye. You know, I don't personally, I know sometimes we do trade stocks under a dollar, but I like to trade stocks at least over a dollar because um, we, we get away from that tenths of a penny rule, which you can see when you're working down there. But stocks got unbelievable iceberg orders. Look at that, 58,000 shares. Look at all these buyers out here, 58,000, 17,000. That is a really good sign for a bullish stock. So we're going to put that one on our watch list if you have not traded already. OPK. Another one uh, up about 7% today, 90,000 shares. Decent so far. Been taking a, Took a little bit of a hit the last two days, but she's gapped up a little bit. Maybe you're getting a little bit of dead cap bounce there. L-I-T-E took a big, big hit. Um, building a little bit of a Fausto flag right here. A little bit more on the expensive side. Not usually our forte for some of us out here, but she is on. She is the biggest loser of the, of the day so far, down 26%. A little bit of a dead cat bounce right there. Listen, we know it's not a pharmaceutical stock, so at least this one we know could possibly come back. BZUN is another one that's going to make the watch list. Uh, this stock has been on a, a big downtrend the last couple of days. Still could probably look like a short. The only concern I have is be careful uh, the spread. Got some good iceberg orders, 7,000. You can see it right there. So you can see there people are selling it. Uh, AMRN is the one that we were watching this morning. AMRN had a major problem trying to break that 18. And if you go back and if you look at the resistance levels, major support level, uh, we made a lot of money with AMRN. For some of you here for the first time, we've been trading stocks since October at $3. The stock had not stopped all the way to 26 over the course of the month of October. You know, so big, big winner. Only thing I, I, I'm very concerned about it, some of you guys go back to your journals You'll see it very, very clearly. If you, do, if you do what we taught you in class, we know that stock can get pretty volatile. It didn't do anything on Friday, but, um, but overall, just keep a close eye. Just be very careful because we know that stock does get a little crazy. And uh, just a couple of more. MTNB I want to throw on there. Another one that's gapped up a little bit, um, up a little bit nicely. We, some of you remember we traded this stock also went from forty cents to a buck forty. Listen, regarding about these cheap stocks, guys, I just always want to throw it out there. Remember what we always talked about. We are here to make money. That's it. Okay, what these companies do, why they're up, what does this mean is irrelevant. Okay, we are here to find it, make our days pay, and enjoy the rest of the day. Okay, nobody's going to question you, you know, um, you, when you're driving a nice Ferrari, you know what I mean, or, or, or what you're doing, you know, uh, and say, oh, what, what, what did you trade today? It's like, does it matter what I trade? I make money doing it. Oh, how do you do it? Oh, I trade this stock, uh, you know, um, you know, MTNB. Oh, what, what do they do? I mean, I always get a kick out when people always ask me that. They're like, and they always get a kick out of like, I don't know. I don't care. It went up and made money and I'm done, you know. So that's what it's all about. But anyway, a lot of good things that are going on. Uh, ben, you're in, you're in uh, you chased it, Ben, all the way to 1870, the AMRN. We're still making money on it. That, that's all that matters. He's plus right now, uh, 50 cents. All right, Ben, just give him a round of applause. See, you guys, it's all about pre-market trading. And it's so funny, but we were watching it for a while, right, Ben? And we saw it, it had a major problem. It did not want to break. It was great uh, early, on, early on, but it just did not want to break that major support levels it just didn't want to break 18 and we saw the buyers kicking in over here in the matrix they were holding it it was hovering there for literally almost 30 minutes 
So um, good trade right there. You're up about a buck right now. It's a nice, almost a three quarters. It's not bad. I'll take it. Oh, you made Ken made fifty cents. Also, give him a round of applause. Way to go! It's always nice to start the, the, the before the market even opens up and making a day's pay. Good job. All right, everyone. So um, listen. Remember what today is. Today is Monday, and not only a typical Monday, it is a national holiday uh, regarding our veterans. Once again, I'd like to thank them all for their services and everyone else. I uh, appreciate everything, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for your service. But, uh, but also keep in mind, with that said, kids are off from school. It might be a little bit on the slower side. I know we have a lot of new traders that are joining us. Um, we have a lot of new members that start on Monday. Uh, just one last thing before all those new people that are starting today, please talk to your education advisor. Let them explain it. Watch the video that we showed you. Uh, to understand what we're doing here, just keep in mind, this is not a teaching room. This is a trading room, okay? We're not here to tell you what to buy and sell. You need to know how to figure on your own. The only way you're going to know if you could do that is watch the traders uh, do it on their behalf. All right, guys, good luck today. Happy trading. Let's make some money, and we'll see you back at 2.30 for the afternoon meeting. Just be very, very careful going into this open, all right, guys? If you have any money already in the pre-market, like on the AMRN already, like some of you did. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.